Okay, so mini chocolate thin mini cakes. Here we go. You take about two sleeves, so that's one box of Girl Scout cookies, and you blend them up in the Ninja. That's what I'm doing because I don't have a food processor right now. And I'm okay with that. The Ninja does a really good job. So with two sleeves of Girl Scout cookies, of Thin Mints, uh, you get about, I want to say, a little over like a cup and a half. Um, I tend to just use more in there because I wanted to get rid of these cookies. That was one thing. So I, use, I, I wound up grinding up three sleeves of cookies, which probably would give me more of about two cups of ground up uh, cookies uh, because I was adding that to the batter because I wanted, since it's a thin mint mini cake, you got to have the thin mint essence. And I didn't want to add any um, extra mint. In this, you see, I've already sifted the all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, I'm adding the espresso powder. The white stuff in there is a baking soda, I believe. And then I'm gonna add some salt. And that's about one teaspoon of salt. And then I added the cookie grounds in there too. I don't do that on camera, but just trust me, I, I added it. I added all of that. Now I'm showing you the wet ingredients, which would be brown sugar, um, applesauce instead of eggs and uh, oat milk organic oat, oat milk from minor figures that's the name of the company I don't know oat milk is oat milk to me so I was using that and then uh, homemade vanilla extract and vinegar apple cider vinegar and also I needed to add in uh, some coconut oil because I wasn't using butter I'll write the recipe down below so you can have it if you want it. And I mixed all that together by hand with my wooden spoon, my, my friend. And I just mixed, mixed, mixed. I uh, finally added in the coconut. I didn't add in the coconut oil yet, but I added in the vanilla extract um, and the brown sugar, applesauce. And I just stirred for a little bit until um, the coconut oil was ready. Uh, yeah, this is taking a minute for, oh, here comes the vinegar because that's the top. Oh, and then I added the lies. That was the oat, oat milk. So I added that. Stir, 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 stir. Just keep, keep going. And I was getting impatient. I was like, man, it's taking so long. Why is it taking so long? So finally, I mix in the dry ingredients so mind you i haven't added in the coconut oil yet i don't know why but i'm mixing the dry ingredients with this wet with these wet ingredients and i'm like this ain't it you know it's really really dry then i'm like oh now let me add the coconut oil voila i did that and yeah oh this is out of order okay Anyway, so add the coconut oil, mix, mix, mix. Continue to add your dry ingredients, mix, mix, mix. I did that and look, it's coming together. What happens is that since uh, I use cookies that already had chocolate on them, uh, the batter is a little stiff. So I go ahead and I add more milk. You don't see it because I did it off camera. So these are makeshift uh, donut holes that I was trying to make a donut mold yeah I don't know exactly and I was going to show you how to put that stuff in there but I was going to play myself so this is what it looks like when they're, when they're baked in the oven at 350 degrees they look weird they look oddly like little mini cakes and that's what I'm going to call them mini cakes and then what I do is I am um, using Santa Barbara a chocolate dark chocolate it doesn't have any soy in it I just melt it down to the chocolate chips and then I dip the top part of the mini cake into the chocolate and covered it and then I sprinkled some uh, crumbled up uh, thin mints on top of that and voila! That's what you got. So down here you see that thin mints? It's such a better recipe. Like the thin mints don't taste good to me anymore uh, so I make my own and when I don't when I don't make my own, I get them from the Girl Scouts who will still support them, but I make it into a better dessert because the original Thin Mint right now is kind of waxy. 
And then I wrote the description on the box. And I put one cake in each box. And I donated it to a community fridge in my area. So that's it.